Hello and welcome back to another budget and leg it video. Yes, we've got the DTEC car scope eye tester again. We're going to show you how to use it now. They have sent me a new uh, attachment to which they've been testing and I've been testing it as well and, you know, fantastic results. It goes into the OBD2 socket because they did have one that goes into the cigarette lighter and some cars turn off the cig cigarette light as you're cranking and you know they have certain issues with it so it wasn't really reliable all the time for certain cars where this is goes straight into the obd2 socket um, and it works absolutely perfectly now if you've got an older car that doesn't have obd2 you can still go to the battery that's not a problem it's just inside the car it just just with the obd2 side of things makes things a lot lot handier and like i said this thing is so fast it's unbelievable you don't need any laptops you don't need anything with other ways of doing it you need laptops you need other expensive things before you know it you know you've got into a lot of money and you put your laptop on your engine the, you crank in the car laptop falls you walk around the car you pull the lead out and it falls you know th th there's just so many issues with it where this is just so so fast so easy and you don't really need to know what you're doing in the sense of it tells you in a bar graph it's so so easy a few things i don't like about it i would prefer some type of like rubber kind of cover over here in case you drop it um just to protect it a little bit more um, <clears throat> this one, because of the way it is, I just put some tape around it because the leads, um, you know, are a bit kind of delicate there. But I'm sure, again, they'll come up with something a lot better. A bit of tape, you, it doesn't really matter. You know, it really does come in. It really does, you know, it doesn't really affect you. What I'm going to do on this car is I'm just going to show you how quick and easy this is. I've got my second... Um, pick up now if you want to know what comes in this set watch my first video I, sh I did an unboxing of what comes in i got a few extra things as well i'm still dying with the plague so you'll have to give my voice now what i'm going to do with this i've got a 10 to 1 attenuate on it i've got my back probe and i'm gonna off this particular car i'm gonna uh, back probe into into injector number four depending on the car you can do it on the injectors or you can do it on the um coil plugs coil on plugs or we have another lead which i will show you for this is the lead if you've got ht leads you can actually put this over one of them and if you want to go to the battery you get this lead with the battery which makes things nice and easy but in this case because we've got a coil pack i'm going to number four injector just because it's right there it's easy so all i'm going to do is i'm going to set this up and i'll show you how quick easy and simple it is to use now i'm going to use in 15 on this channel with this one here and obviously for my obd2 that has the green plug and that just slides straight into there so what i'm going to do back probe injector number four i'm going to uh disconnect the fuel system on this so it doesn't start because obviously that is the important thing we need we need to make sure the car doesn't start now if a car comes in and it's not starting obviously you don't have to do anything you do have to be careful with the relative compression because it is only a relative compression the way it essentially works is if you've got a cylinder that's 100 or the strongest should i say as it's cranking it will mark that as 100 and it puts the other cylinders relative to that 100 percent so it gives you a good idea you know of what's going on especially for a diesel you know you can't start taking out injectors heater plugs because they can break you can cause yourself a world of trouble just to try and do a compression test and at least with this it will lead you to some sort of direction okay cylinder number one cylinder number two blah 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 you won't normally need to um do this what i'm going to do the only reason i'm going to do this is just show you you can actually sync it to a cylinder so if you've got a dead cylinder you can see exactly what that cylinder is you do you do need to know the the firing order of your car once you know the firing order of the car you know which dead cylinder it is what i'm going to do is just quickly plug it into this one and then i've got another car i'm doing tomorrow i'll take out the spark plug at that and i'll show you a complete dead cylinder i'm just gonna very quickly back probe injector number four well, I say it's injector number, this is a French car, it could be one. But anyway, we'll just say injector number four for the video. And hook this up inside and let's see what happens. Okay, just for the video, what I'm going to show you is how quick and easy it is. So we go and go into compression here. Now, as you can see, we've got voltage current, we've got unsync, and we've got input 
2 and input 15 essentially. Now if you're unsure you can also press the help button and depending on what menu system you're on the help button will tell you how to connect it, what to do and everything. So that's really handy. We need to go to well it's actually set up for us. Input 15, four cylinders. Oh my voice. And I haven't connected it yet, but then you just go to start. The other really good thing is this will save the file. So once you've actually done it, you can save the file. You can look back it, you know, at your own time. You can save it for the customer so you can show the before and after. Anything like that, which is really handy as well. Okay, hope you can see that. I've got my second channel plugged in. We're just going to go through the menu system. Four cylinders, we've got to also press start. And you just see how quick this is. Crank engine. stop it's going to analyze the signal and boom there we go how quick was that absolutely it's taking me longer to turn my camera on than it does to actually do this test and as you can see from the test i'm just struggling with the sun at the minute it tells us our rpm at the bottom we can save this file so we can obviously look at it later or show the customer or whatever you want to do with it as we zoom into it, I want to just get it there. Hopefully you can see this. I'm just trying, let me just get a better camera angle. Now, hopefully that's a bit better. My camera isn't really showing it properly. We can see A is 97%, B is 83%, C is 98%, and D is 100. Now, we can see we've got a little star on A. That's our channel that we've synced to. So we know this is um, injector number four. Now I haven't checked this because this is a French engine. This could be slightly different. Right, the firing order on this car might be slightly different because it is a French car, but let's just pretend it's one, three, four, two. We know this is number four, so we can figure out which our cylinder is in relation. So if we've got a completely dead cylinder, which I'll show you later, we know we can go to that cylinder, we can do other tests, we can see exactly what's going on. That's how quick, easy this is. Two channels, we have our sync channel there, we know all the ones, boom, done, absolutely fast. And if I wasn't recording this, you could do it even faster, obviously. And at the end of the day, time is money, quickly get the jobs out, customer saves money, you can do more jobs, everyone is happy, sorted. So what I'm gonna do is gonna get this other car, which will be tomorrow and uh, we'll go through and show you a dead cylinder and uh, yeah, sorted. Okay, this time we've got a 2007 Toyota Corolla 1.4 petrol. I've taken out number one spark plug and I've disconnected the um, injectors. We're not gonna sync it this time, but like I said, you can sync it off the injectors or the coil, whatever you kind of want. Now we've got coil on plugs on this. The last car we had was a coil pack and sometimes you might have HT leads. It's just different connections. But it's the same thing. If not, just, just do it off the um, injectors. Same thing, but we're not gonna do it. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like with a dead cylinder. Once we see a dead cylinder, that's when it's important to sync it, to see which cylinder it is, and then you can take your diagnosis from there. But this is just to show you how quick and easy this machine is again. Now, I know what I'm gonna get. Oh, well, you can hear it when there's a problem with the engine with compression. Yes, granted, in certain cases you can hear it, but you still don't know what cylinder it is. This is where this comes in. It gives you a cylinder so you can do your checks from there. It could be a simple issue like a plug not fitting properly or something, and you can go straight to it. That's why the beauty of this little gadget is awesome. Okay, so I got it plugged in. We just select it, and we are on sync at the minute, so we just need to go to unsync. Four cylinders, start, let's just put this down, press the button, oh, a bit of glare there. Stop cranking. Boom, as you can see, a complete dead cylinder, zero on number C. So we know, in this particular case, Number C is cylinder one. And so we got one, three, four, two. And there we go. 69% cylinder one, three, four, two. And there we go, people. That's how simple, easy it is. And then you take your diagnosis from there. So that's this bad boy. It is awesome. It is fast. 
no other things needed with it you don't need laptops you don't need anything like that quick simple fast get on with your day get on with the next job what more do you want it is awesome like i said there was a few little things like everything i don't like about it but they're very minor the ditech car scope eye tester there is more features coming with this bad boy soon so i'll keep you up to date when they are um, like i said we can also save this file now so we can show it to the customer and all that sort of good stuff so there it is so look hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most importantly don't forget get your hands dirty don't forget check out my facebook instagram and patreon sorted